this is episode 13 of Summer of Stylight, and in my new quest to banish perfectionism, coming to you live from my living room couch while I get my hair done, letting the color set for a few hours before I rinse it out. What is up? Really, really happy to see you guys, and uh, yeah, I gotta tell you, last week was... I was a little, I was a little down. I mean, it was definitely a more serious tone, as I said. Um, and I just realized kind of after the fact that like I had a lot of negative self-talk going on um, that was all kind of like unconscious. It was just kind of this running commentary and dealing with the perfectionism and just really just getting fed up with the whole thing. like was was it was kind of like a breaking point for me so um i was digging through i don't know if any of y'all are into like the self-help thing but i was like digging through the old kindle and i came across this book called the happiness trap um that i had read a few years ago and it's actually pretty great because this whole idea of like the the it's like good news and bad news like the good news is like you're not your thoughts but the bad news is is like you're always gonna have negative thoughts so that's the whole premise of the happiness trap like congratulations you're stuck with this shit for life but the book gives you basically ways in which to deal with it and to sort of like have that acceptance that okay this shit isn't going away but I can figure out ways to deal with it and a lot of it is just getting it out on paper and holding it to the light and seeing it for the lie that it is and then replacing it with like a much better type of thought. So all that to say it was just like a really good sort of purge to go through. Um, and I think too the perfectionism really fucks you up because you're on, it's like it, it bases, it's, it bases progress on a very linear scale like you do this this and this and then this happens and I don't know about you but as an artist like that shit has not come to pass it's not like law school it's not like medical school it's not like being in college where you just take like these number of classes and then ta-da you're an artist like it's a very circuitous <laughs> sometimes backwards sometimes forward type of journey and there's no real guarantee so um being in that sort of like tunnel vision with perfectionism for me at least is like it's the worst possible paths to be on so henceforth henceforth thereafter i wanted to walk the walk as well as talk the talk and come to you live during hair process instead of being like it's done it's perfect um, well, we'll see if it's perfect anyway, but I wanted to sort of bring you the behind the scenes of the hair as well as the album. Okay, so the song that I wanted to um, discuss today actually is really a great example of all this blabbing I'm doing because the song was actually, it doesn't even have a title, it was a track from um, Soldier Boy, which I introduced like I don't know, week three or week four. And basically this um, this track was like a throwaway kind of track, like something I was like, when I was going through all the different versions of Soldier Boy, I was like, well, maybe this could work. And then I put it aside and I came back to it when I was working on the song list for this album. And I was like, you know, this song could have potential. I don't know how, but I actually really like it. It's different. And it's different enough that I can do something else with it and maybe make another song. So um, I came back to it and what's interesting is I was adding some more chords to it and it was fast because Soldier Boy was like kind of a dance track. So it was fast, like about 126 BPM, which is beats per minute. And many dance tracks are usually around that range, 120, 125, 26. So I was trying to add these chords and I was like, I kept messing it up. So I was like, all right, let's my hack is I slow down the BPM so it's really very slow and then you add the chords and it's like much easier to play because you're playing them a lot slower when I slowed it down to like 90 BPM I was like I 
I kind of like the speed. It took on almost like a tame Impala vibe, and I was like, huh, I didn't even think of that. Like, I wouldn't have even thought of this song having that kind of cool vibe slowed down. So I was digging it. So um, I'm going to play for you the 126 and then the one, I'm sorry, the one, the 90 BPM so you can hear the difference. Like, it's just kind of a different vibe to it. So then it was easier, too, to make a melody on the slower track. I was like, okay, I, I, a melody was coming a lot quicker. Here's the interesting thing. This came totally out of left field. I'll just start hearing words, and I'll write them down. That's generally sometimes how I do some lyrics. And this idea came to me of this like young woman, probably like a teenager in a really small Midwest town, um, living at home in a very religious family in a town that was like, you know, has a dominant evangelical church, very strict, very rigid. And she's going through some sort of trauma. I don't know, like maybe she's pregnant, maybe there's abuse in the home. I wasn't really like, but it was this idea of like she had some really serious shit going on and she was trying to do all the right things, what the church, what her parents have told her to do, but she wasn't, she still had the problem, she still had the issue. And so the song almost turned into like a, a religious song, but it's not because it's more this idea of like trying to find answers and by doing all the right things and still not getting what you need um, or getting relief so the song again just sort of took on this whole story that I wasn't thinking of it just kind of came out of left field so then I was like okay with the chorus what do I want to do with the chorus and um, I'm just gonna kind of break it down for you so I heard this See, 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 see how they run. See, 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 see how they run, run, run. And I was like, okay, but that's not really a chorus. So then there was this piano melody that I had been playing around with in the chorus that I just liked and I was thinking just keep it as a piano melody but then I was like what if I'm just like la 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 so I started playing that and then I added a harmony so it was this la 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 I was like okay this is cool and I want something like now I'm thinking like gospel like some sort of church thing over it so I added this save me from
like kind of religious, right? But it's again, I was thinking of it like this is her prayer. This is her like crying out for help to a God, you know, of her parents, a God of her church that she's, she just doesn't know any other God, but what she's been taught. So she's reaching out saying, you know, help me, help me, help me. And it's just, again, about feeling that yearning and, but also that frustration of like, I'm not getting what, I'm not getting the answers that I really need right now. So yeah so i don't know this song is again just sort of a work in progress but i like it and i'm i'm intrigued by the story that's coming out and again i wouldn't this is all this is a song of a very circuitous weird trajectory that again is just wasn't really supposed to be a song wasn't really supposed to be this speed didn't know wasn't planning on doing some story about some girl in a small town that was dealing with some shit from a conservative church so but that's the magic and I think when when I get into perfectionism I don't hear that I'm so fixated on whatever the fuck my perfectionistic asshole mind is telling me something has to be that I'm missing out on all these breadcrumbs that are being left and so so grateful to have cleared out that shit and to just be like oh Oh wow, I never thought of that. Like, I think, you know, horizons expand when we get out of our own way and when we get out of uh, those preconceived notions of how things are supposed to be or how things are supposed to sound or how things are supposed to feel. So, anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Here is the song, you know, just verse, chorus, little pre chorus. I'm not quite sure about the pre chorus, but here you go. I, I told the secret. Once again for joining me and my hair process on summer of stylate it is an indeed a very fucking hot summer weekend happy August uh, I hope you guys are all staying cool staying sane getting some love from near or far staying safe of course but taking care of yourselves and I'm just sending you lots of love have a wonderful week and I will see you next time on summer of starlight mm -hmm.